Hi, I'm Patty Moreno, the Garden Girl. And I'm Mel Bartholomew with the Square Foot Gardening Foundation. This month's tip is all about seeds. Yes. February is a time where I start a lot of my seeds uh, indoors right. so that I can put them out in my garden. Absolutely. Well, I love starting my own seeds because it's so much more cost effective. Oh, absolutely. We talk about pennies instead of dollars. Exactly. Plus, it's a great thing for the kids. They love to see plant seeds and then see them sprout. There's something magic about a seed sprouting. Here's a packet of cabbage seeds, and cabbage is a cool weather crop, can go out in the springtime a couple of weeks before your last frost date. Now yeah, talk a little bit about okay. our frost date and, and why right. we're starting indoors okay. uh, to begin with. Good. First of all, you have to find out your last frost date for springtime. Right. Now, you can do that by zip code. And the government has taken and compiled all these numbers of when the last frost date was for all the different areas of the country. And that varies from region to region. Yes, and also varies from year to year because every year is not the same, but they've taken the average. Okay. So keep that in mind. Absolutely. Now, uh, there's a lot of seeds in here. here. Right, yeah. We're, uh, here's, here's how you decide how many to plant. Okay. How many heads of this kind of cabbage would you want in your garden? And don't say, oh, I'd like a lot of cabbage, I'll put in 20, because right. you're not going to eat 20 heads of cabbage. You might grow some other kinds, too, or different colors. So you'd say, well, on this particular variety, I'd like two or three or four at the most. And if you want four heads of cabbage, then I would plant eight seeds. Right. And why do we want to plant double the amount just, of seeds? Just because it, it satisfies our inner urge <laughs> to say, what if they don't grow? You know, everyone says, yeah, but what if? That old saying. And you get the kids to help you now by looking at the seeds, put them, pour them out uh, on a white piece of paper, let them take either a pencil or a stick and move them about. Don't touch them with your hands yet because you have oil all over your hands. We're going to plant just one cabbage plant in one square foot. And if you want two cabbages, two square feet. If you want four, four square feet. We're not going to crowd them. They have all the room they want to grow. Okay. So first you have to decide, maybe with your family, you can get the kids and say, now kids, how many of this variety, here's a picture of it from the seed catalog, would you like to have in our garden? Right. And of course they'll say a hundred <laughs> or one or ah, I don't want cabbage, something like that. Now, what do you do with the rest of the seeds? Mm, you got to store them for yeah. later use. Yeah, okay. And if you don't store them under the right conditions, the correct conditions, they might go bad in a, a year or two. But if you store them in the correct conditions, they'll last for many years. Actually, they'll probably last you three, five, ten years. Imagine that. Now, what are the right conditions? Yeah, I was just going to say, what are the right conditions? Okay, what well, do you do? I find an easy way to remember is you do the opposite is when you want to sprout them. Gotcha. So now, when you want to sprout them... There's two things you need. Right. First is moisture. So you want these in a dry place. Next is warmth. The warmer it is, the faster the seeds will sprout. So you want them in a cool place. Not freezing, but cool. And the best thing to do is to put them in a jar like this or a Ziploc bag, put them in the refrigerator, not the freezer, because they will get freezer burn in there. So put them in the ref uh, refrigerator, maybe in the back shelf, and you could pull these out every time you want to plant. This cool weather crop we're going to plant again in the fall. So tune in next summer and we'll tell you when to start these seeds for your fall crop. Well, this has been wonderful. I'm so excited to start sprouting my seeds with my family. I'm Patty Moreno, the garden girl. And I'm Mel Bartholomew. I should say the garden guy, right? Yeah. <laughs>